Welcome back everyone. Today I have another video. This time it's for Zorro. As I wanted to test it out how, how big it is in this format coming up. As I don't know, for some reason in the simulator people don't play too much Zorro. I don't I don't know, at least for OP4. I guess they're testing the new decks, but uh, yeah, I mean, I wanted to test out and see uh, if it's still a menace. Uh, spoiler alert, it is. The only problem with Zorro right now is that uh, I don't know... Um, we don't know if it's going to have more restrictions. Uh, like maybe they restrict more cards because this deck is still very, very powerful. The color itself is still very powerful. We don't know if they're going to do undo some restrictions because they go crazy and may actually undo some restrictions. So um, at the moment, uh, it, this is what we have for what we know. That's probably going to be the meta. And uh, this is the deck that I've been playing for Zoro. And as you can see, it's a very... Um, like... If it doesn't have rush or it's not a sticky threat, I don't want it in my deck. Basically, the only card that is acceptable is Brook because it works with uh, Fire Fist. So it is really good against green decks in general. Uh, but if it doesn't have those two like things, I don't want it to have like more than the elevated cost of one, right? And then uh, as the one drop threats is going to be Nami, Boogie, and then Magra, which works very well with both. I think this is just a, uh, a really efficient threat that you have for the deck. And then the leader itself is going to be the, the other threat that you're going to uh, be able to attack with. Uh, I usually don't go too too wide, but like I'm trying to just use my threats efficiently because I know they're going to get removed like now more than ever. So I have to use them like for like I develop one, attack with one like for a big number. And that's what I'm trying to do with this deck. Uh, Brook is good for that reason because it allows you to use the leader ability for free and also develop threats every turn. And then after that, you get to play your Zoros, your, your Luffy's, and keep slamming into the opponent. I don't want to play a long game into blue decks, into any of the decks that I have, like, a, like any kind of removal for my, like, my 9-drop or whatever the case might be. That's when I'm going to lose the game. So if I'm going to play this deck, I'm going to try to be as aggressive as possible so I can close the game as quickly as I can. Um, I, a card that has been MVP for me uh, in the testing uh, came out of nowhere is this card. Table Manor Kick Course. Uh, it is a new card that we got for um, for like a searchable Aronami. It's a Straw Hat card. It's a zero corner that it gives like you discard a card and then you have a, a plus three in your in your combo. It has been amazing. I don't I don't know how to tell you how many times it has come up. Uh, you're gonna see in the games. It actually comes out like I think in every game and it was amazing. I don't know if I if I should opt it up to three because you run a lot of non carnival uh, cards. In the non corners and the uh, the the Luffy and the Zoro, so and the the Boogie too. So a lot of the times, this card just saves you because you're able to just pitch those cards and then also out combo out of an attack. Very very good, very um, underrated, and I don't know if it should be playing more. Um, it's been really impressive for me. Uh, with that being said, this is the deck that I have. Remember, now I do still have a, a Patreon. If you wanna contribute to the channel. If you want to uh, support me in any other way, please take a look uh, at the, at the uh, Patreon and support us there. All right. Um, we're going to play against uh, uh, Rebecca, which is not a bad matchup for Rebecca, to be honest. Uh, but we'll see what we can come up with. Definitely going to get... Ooh, this is a hard decision, actually. I already have a jet, a gun -gum, uh jet pistol, so I don't think I need the fire fist. Although it's a really good card, but I think the Diablo Jumbo will give me a game. Uh, so I will take the Jumbo here. Because it's just how it is. It is going to be um, a matter of... Um, at the end, I'm going to need the extra push. And that's what's going to help here. Alright, so he has this one, which allows all the, his cards to have Rush. So I don't have to... I could just get some value here. Attack for 6-6. Six, six. Uh, that would be just probably just fine. We have to attack as soon as, as much as possible here. We could also just uh, play the Dan. But then we're going to lose value on our boogie. Because he's just going to play the... Um, the whatchamacallit. The, um, the two drop. And then I'm just going to be able to do nothing here. Apparently. Like, it's just gonna be really bad for me. He's gonna play the um, 
the Kairos. He's gonna play the Kairos, kill the boogie, and I get no value out of my boogie. So I might as well just uh, destroy that one. And then now he's at three life. We're great. Now we don't. And again, we have the Diablo Jumble, so we can always go for game uh, if things get rough. So yeah, I mean, and Rebecca cannot even kill Boogie. That's kind of um, that's kind of funny. Um, I don't think even. I mean, any removal spells, Kairos cannot kill it, but he can kill it. Is what it comes down to. But yeah, I just want to attack for sevens and um, and play a threat. That's how I want to play this matchup. I guess I can just attack for eight. Or then I want to play like multiple threats per turn. But I just I don't want to be like. Okay, this is a good one. We don't have anything else there. Now we need a one drop, uh, so I hopefully the next Adan give us an, like multiple one drops so he cannot remove all of them. And then we're just attacking for big numbers. That's all we were doing here. Uh, he can remove the, the Dan for what it's worth. But we have removal for this guy as well, so it's not even the big uh, a big problem. Although for two, he has to play a Leo, which whatever. We'll take that. No, that's fine. Uh, okay, so we did draw this. So we're going to kill this one. And then, um, again, we just attack for big numbers here. We don't need to de develop anything because it's just going to die. Yeah, that way we got rid of the blocker, Sabo, which is really good for us. And then eventually we'll need to develop the board, but it's not neat right now. We can develop all five cards on one turn, which is going to be uh, my plan here. They don't play too many 2k counters. As you can see, he's down to zero 2k counters. So I can abuse that to force him to take life or to block with uh, like Sabo or something like that. Like I can abuse the fact that I know he doesn't have too much counter power. Now, his win condition here is going to be the double strike. So I do have to be a little bit careful on that end. And I don't have to take too much damage. But I can take this one. It is fine. Uh, so it is the turn. But... um. So how do we do it here? We have Dadan, Dadan, Nami... Um, possibly like a one drop that I can play there. So that's two, two, one, one. Yeah. And then maybe keep up nothing because I didn't draw anything to keep up. So attack for eight. Just let the Sabo die. Okay, perfect. Dadan gets me uh, this one. Return cards. Dadan gets me the boogie. Return cards. Um, boogie gets me the fire fist. Return cards. And then Nami that gets me the guard point. Return cards. So we were able to fill the board. He's not going to probably be able to remove all of them at the same time. And uh, now we just... I'll use him next turn because we have a bunch of machinos now and yeah he might be able to remove one or two but not all of them and he might be able to attack with luffy twice but not all my cards so yeah i don't feel like i'm in a disadvantage here he should have attacked the one drops because the one drops are more impactful but i do not mind either way
Now, you do got to be careful because this is going to have double attack, dual strike next turn. So I don't want to take damage here. Ideally. Um, I guess we'll do the Brook. Uh, let's do one Makino. I don't think I'm going to need all three. That Sorrow is amazing, actually. So let's start with seven here. But let's play the, um, the Magra. Use the ability here. She becomes a five, six. Uh, attack for seven. Now, the Luffy doesn't get to untap next turn, which is great. And we already know he's low on 2Ks, by the way. Um, well, we get to attack for 5, I guess. Ah, I don't have to attack with that one. We'll just attack for 7. And then attack for seven. Put him to zero. And if he takes this one, I go double mac uh double machino for your game. There you go. Ten K. <laughs> and I still had a lot of defense. Again, this card has been amazing. Uh <laughs> The mad, uh, the bad manners kicker curse, uh, kick curse. Wow, like I still had a lot of defense even through that, just because of that car. And if I needed to get rid of a blocker, uh, there was gonna be uh, an easy way to do that. All right, and we're gonna play against Kuro, uh, which is not a good matchup, but we have our best car against them. So, um, I don't know if I should play it right now. Yeah, why not? Just play, get a guard point, return the other ones. I might just attack with him next turn, uh, depending on what he plays here. Because um, this one cannot kill Boogie. Uh, but Nami can. But it requires some energy for him to do that. And then I can attack her. So it's not the worst to just attack with, uh, with Nami. I mean, with Boogie. Now, we do have uh, this guy coming out, so, you know what, I'm just going to attack for 7, then play the Marco, and then I'll kind of attack later on. I don't have to attack this turn. Uh, I don't want him to attack with uh, with Nami into Boogie. It would be quite bad. Uh, definitely taking that one. And Marco is definitely our best card, probably, in this matchup. He does use Sham and uh, Bushi. Which is annoying, but it is what it is. I guess I should have attacked first, but um, even if he pawn gives on this one, he becomes a 6k, so it is fine. I have a lot of counter power here. And I should be able to attack the uh, these guys if he attacks with them. And I will be taking the damage, I think, because I have a lot of counter power. So I just need to be able to control and defend my cards. So I will be taking the damage here. Uh, not too much because I don't want to be prey of the uh, dual attack here. But I will take be taking a, a couple here. Yeah. It's fine. I want to I wanna take a couple here. Now Don Creek is definitely one of those cards that I have to be watch out for. So that is what we're, we're going to play the Brook because of that reason. Um, and then attack here. Six... Seven, and let's play the Brook. This one can definitely deal with Dunk Creek. And then uh, let him go. So that way we can attack it next turn. Unless he can destroy it. But I, I feel like he should not be able to destroy it easily at least. He might be able to use the Kuro's ability here. Um, I do have to defend this. Because I don't want to take a double strike. Oh, he's going to force me here. Um, sure. Use on this one. 
We still have a lot of counter power. So uh, I just have to survive the next turn. It is not going to be that difficult. Well, depending. If he has another Django, it could be difficult, but... Uh, I'll attack here and attack here, I guess. Uh, I can make this one minus two. And then um, attack a leader. Attack a leader. And then uh, play the Marco, because if not, it is too easy for him to use the leader ability. I want him to spend a little, at least a couple of energies trying to use the leader ability. And I haven't done the math, but I think I can survive a dual attack. Depends on how much he needs to spend uh, trying to play another card to use the leader ability. But it's definitely, uh, he goes for it or he doesn't. And if he goes for it, he does need to have a, a, like a one drop that he can play. Though they do have now a new one drop that they can play with it. Uh, definitely using this one on a two and a one. And then if he plays a one, a two drop and then restand it, I have enough to survive. So I did have enough uh, through uh, a two drop, which is pretty cool. Then I use this one, the new card coming clutch. And we, we get to survive that turn and we get to win because of that. Because that's next turn, he's not surviving that. That I can assure you. So I don't know if they're playing the new one drop, but that's the only way that he, sur like that's, he survives that turn. Uh, that was cool. This is a bad matchup, by the way, because he had the uh, the uh, Sham Bushi combo, and then he had the Creek into the Django combo. So he had a really decent game. Uh, we were just able to out combo him there, which is important. This card came clutch on that game for sure. The um, this one, the uh, Matt. Mackers kick curse. That was pretty cool. Oh, okay, we're gonna play against some flamingo, which is a good matchup for flamingo, I think. Uh, especially them going first. Uh, we have the Dan, however, which misses. Lovely. Uh, <laughs> uh, well, we're gonna see what we're gonna do here. Okay, here comes the. Oh, that's a good one not trigger so how do we do this i think we attack for eight and then um play another boogie here interesting understandable oh i whiffed twice wow that sucks that's not the boogie. That's not the, that's not the searchers, the Zoro that I remember. Uh, definitely taking that one though. Uh, no, I guess I'll take that one. Okay, see so he plays the blocker. And it is rusher's time, I guess. Start attacking for five, 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 five. I think it is the most sensible way here. See if they want to give me their hand. Definitely attacking with Zoro now. Okay. And uh, maybe he goes for my leader. Who knows? Maybe he goes for the board a little bit. Um, I mean, they can uh, have a good, decent... 
depends on what happens on the following turns. But he still has two cards in hand, so unless they're Love Love Beam, uh, start, it's going to start feel like the uh, the advantage going my way. He could also just leave him on top. He's done a lot of pressure with this one. So he doesn't have to deal the damage now. Uh, that one dies, of course. They're just blockers at this point. He's going to play another four, so he might just leave it on top. That's a that's a good strategy. Leave it on top and then at, uh, attack with uh, everything else. I mean, don't attack with this one. That would be really bad. Just play something else. Take this life. Oh, uh, well, I took attack with them. Which I don't per se um, indulge, but at least he has a boa to fall back on. Okay. No, I, 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 he should have just let it die. He shouldn't have attacked with this one last turn. Um, do I get to do Marco and... No. I get to do the Luffy, though. Luffy and uh, Nami. Oh. Okay, that's good for me. Uh, let's do Fire Fist. Let's do Jet Pistol. I think Jet Pistol in this matchup is going to be much better. Because whatever he plays out of the top, I'm just going to be able to KO it for free. Mihawk, um, it's a more, much more difficult one to KO. Um, not to say it is impossible. Uh, I think Otama has to go. Okay, we do double removal here on um, KO this one, KO this one, and then uh, attack for 5-5, five, five, which I assume he's going to take. No! Ah, uh, sucked. But I guess it didn't remove my Marco, and he cannot really attack with this one, because then he just gets, he just dies. I have a lot of Connors. So, I mean, we'll see what happens here. Uh, we'll do the Bean and the uh, Otama, I guess. Yeah, he, he might be a little bit scared of attacking with this one because uh, it's understandable. He doesn't have many cards in hand. At this exact moment. Uh, let's attack with six first. I mean seven. Oh no, I should have done six first. Oh well. And then seven. Okay, we're back to uh, like even on life. Still at two life, which is good for me. Because he doesn't have enough creatures here. But uh, I do have to defend my cards here. So who knows exactly what's going to be uh, the best one. Do we let the Luffy die? I think we defend it. He can kill anything here. If he defends it, attacks the Luffy, that's fine. Um, mm, that's a good card here. That was risky. He should have attacked for us eight. I think I would have defend my boar completely here. But I mean, it's fine. He is winning after all. Okay. Well, now it is time to attack for big numbers. Um. Well, no cancel. Let's attack for seven, a leader. We have to get through the blockers here. Attack with seven. Attack for seven. 
Let's see if he blocks with the bot. Um, I guess I'll attack for uh, whatever number here that forces the boa. Now, a blocker could be really bad for me. I think I have to force the boa here. And then I'm going to need a rusher, but... um. Or one of these to survive. So he's going to play a blocker for sure. And then from there, it is going to be a little bit tricky. Maybe I should have start my attack with Nami for five. See if he blocks out of that one. And then I can attack the Gekko Moria. And then I can attack uh, like uh, the rest. Like maybe even the Mihawk. Um, I had two blockers. It was kind of hard. I have to put him on like uh, here. And maybe I can draw uh, like a Diablo Jumbo for game. Uh, it's another option. Uh, he's gone through a lot of blockers for what it's worth. Um, he has three attacks, by the way. He can also attempt to go for game. Which seems to be the options for him. I have nine. I have to get out of one attack. Uh, no trigger. Now that lets me get out of one attack. Ten and then we'll be able to do uh, ten. Ten ten. I can I can get out of ten ten. Uh yeah. Guard point. Discard this one. Eleven. GG. Uh yeah. I mean this is no this is a difficult matchup for this deck, especially when they go first. Um. But yeah, I mean, it's still, uh, it is still like a field decision game. Uh, there's certain things that can go back and forth and can uh, mitigate the game a little bit. Uh, I needed a 2k or a 1k out of life, I think, to survive that turn. No, I needed two 1ks uh, to be able to survive. All right, we're going to play against Crocodile, which I don't think is a bad matchup for them. Uh, we definitely will want to go first because they, um, they have good options going uh, first. We're gonna mulligan this hand. This hand is not good. Much better. Uh, and at the same time, not a good. Not as good. But we're gonna definitely uh, start attacking, I guess. Uh, let's get the event that we can get. Oh, it's <laughs> there. Uh, someone has recognized me here in the in the chat. <laughs> um, okay. This is a strike, this is special, so I really don't get to do anything crazy here. So I'm just gonna attack for a big number. And then we're gonna play the second boogie. Oh, we whiffed. That is sad. Um, and then I think we get to uh, do Fire Fist, whatever he plays here. And then attack for a big number. Ooh. Okay, it's Stridden. I see. Okay, okay. Okay, I dig this. No trigger. And take both. Okay, interesting, interesting. Um, what do I do here? I think. Let's just play the Dadan here. Uh, let's get the Nami or Otama. I mean, Otama could give me some reach. Um, so I'm not entirely sure. Mm, I could play Nami right now. Which is not bad. Yeah, let's play the Nami. And then Nami will get me Luffy. Yeah, Luffy. And then... um. This one I can attack with. Um, what can I attack with? With this one? I could also play Magra, but I think he's going to be good next turn. Either way. So let's attack the. Um, 
the uh, the Sanji. Of course, I don't want to be uh, him to be annoying. And it's gonna be a good card regardless. So, yeah, that's fine. I'll, I'll attack this way. Um, Struzen, uh it can attack into Boogie. Wait, actually, no, he's a slash. He cannot even attack into Boogie. So this is gonna eat an attack from the um, the crocodile, which is okay. I don't I don't mind. Uh, this one is probably gonna attack Nami the best that he can do. Uh, but next turn we're gonna try to go more aggressive. Uh, we're saving this for a more impactful car. Like, if he wouldn't have attacked with Nami with Sanji, then I would have done um, Fire Fist. But since he did, I don't really have to do anything else. Now, Queen is an annoying car. Reason why to keep up uh, Otama, and that's why I was consider considering it. Um, but I assume here, yeah, it dies. That is fine. So now we do Zoro, and we start attacking, I guess. Um, let's attack for five. They're not going to block, I don't think. Uh, let's do Nami. Ooh. Okay. Well, that's a way to do it, I guess. Interesting, interesting. Well, let's attack for six now, I guess. Have some other options. Uh, we can do the Fire Fist now, but we can do also the Magra first. Get the Nami up. And then uh, give her an energy, I guess. Oh, I just died? Okay, okay. I, I get it, I get it. I dig that, because I can just now Fire Fist. Uh, let's discard the Curse. Uh, because of... Um, I mean, it's good there. And then we are okay now because we have the board and we don't have to worry about much else here. Crocodile is good, however. It will uh, make me... It will give him a win condition here. So I'm definitely just gonna... What do we do here? I think we play Brook. We can also play uh, Makino. Actually kind of good to play Makino. And then we'll attack with Luffy, I guess. Can we also defend them? We can maybe... No, I don't think we can. So we save it as a blocker. Sounds good. Uh, three, five. Let's attack for five. See, he, he didn't defend the queen, so he might be running low on, on 5Ks. He uses the uh, crocodile ability, which is understandable. They need uh, some defense here. And also it's free with the leader, so... Yeah. Oh, he uses that one? No. He cycled that one? Okay, Sanji. Still have a Fire Fist. So, interesting. Mm. Let's attack for 7. 7-7 seven, seven and whatever this number is. I guess we'll do Makino first. Six. Now I have to be careful if he hits another trigger out of life. Because then he might actually be able to go for game. But as long as he's focusing on my cars on, on board, I shall be fine. And then here, attack for seven. Okay, so he uses the Blast Breath. So he went down a lot of energy there. But he does have a win condition. And the leader can clear some cards. Now Karakuri is actually very decent. Um, but he does have to clear my board here. He can leave me with one one drop. And then I have still three life. So for what it's worth, that's still very difficult for him. And he does have to clear my board. 
because I can go with the game with like he has two cards in hand, so he does have to be careful. However, now the defense comes into play, so he might actually be able to just go after my leader a little bit here. But yeah, no, I, mean, I assume he's gonna go after the, the the cards here. He lets my uh, Makino leave, which I can understand. It's not the um, the most important car here. I could also, let me see, could play Brook. So I have an attacker next turn besides what I have already. Um, this two should be enough to survive. So yeah, I'm going to do that. And then I attack with Luffy for uh, seven. I mean, he has this uh, seven. I need one energy. Uh, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, seven. Let's do eight, eight, I guess. Uh, no. Uh, yeah, because that plays around the um, the health judgment. He's going to have to use a 4K here. And then uh, health judgment, I assume. Oh, interesting. Because now I can go for nine and he forces a, a judgment plus something else. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's sort of for you. Okay, and for final thoughts on the deck, um, this deck's still a menace. It's still very, very good. Um, it is too fast. It is, it does what it does too efficiently. And at some point, you just are able to outpace your opponent way too quickly. And if people are not respecting the deck, or I mean, for what I've seen, uh, a lot of decks don't like are trying to play these mid-range decks, at least on the simulator. I don't see too many Zoros in the simulator uh, lately. So um, it is just going to get run over. You still have to respect this deck. You still have to run a lot of ways to like remove the stop early on. Because this deck is just going to take over um, very, very quickly. Uh, especially if you draw a hand where you have a, 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 like a boogie and an ami. It just runs with the game very quickly. Um, with that being said, that's all I have for today. Thank you all for watching. Have a good day.